Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Whiskar Tenager, and I am playing some Fallout 4. Let's go attend this meeting and become a knight. So I can then turn around and loot everything. <laughs> it's the Brotherhood of Steel. Of course I'm going to loot everything. They've got such cool stuff for a bunch of racists. Brothers and sisters, Hi. the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every Wait, can I stand by his right hand side? Past my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. Okay. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressive. Where's dance? Without question. Now that the ship is in Couch. position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. But why? They're experimenting with dangerous technologies oh. that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the Wait, destructive what? nature of the atom bomb. Why am I just hearing about this now? Oh. The sin. Oh, come a on. A robotic abomination of technology. No, 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 no. And masquerades as a human being. This notion. You guys see why I don't like the sight of them. Is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. No. I'm not prepared to allow the institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Okay. Itself. But who are you and to Victorium. say? A dog meat barks. <laughs> Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. But who is he to say? The people of the Commonwealth. Uh-huh. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. How does that make any sense? Our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, okay. you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Yay! Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. Yes! And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor power to protect armor. you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'm gonna take all of your power armor. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event... Okay. Once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. I Don't will! Don't the Pridwin soldier. Make us proud. Your arm just glitched through your jacket. Also, you're still kind of racist. Can I just take everything? I'm going to loot this place so hard, it's not even funny! It's gonna be like, loot, 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 loot. Ooh, this? Yeah, mine. Oh, that other thing? Yeah, also mine. Everything is mine, what's yours is mine, what's mine is mine, and everything else is mine. Everything that could possibly be in this area is mine. The power armor is mine. The airship is mine. I don't care that I'm not the leader of the Brotherhood. It's still all, all mine. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. Congratulations on the promotion. Night Captain, like Night Sergeant. Home, never turn your back. <laughs> Shut up, phone! Nobody cares. Okay, what's over here? What's over here and can I steal it? <gasps> oh, I am going to take everything. I'm gonna do it off screen! But I am going to take everything. What? It's a kitty! Oh my god, it's a kitty! Oh my god, it's a real kitty! Oh my god, it's a real kitty! Oh! How can I destroy the Brotherhood if there's a real kitty? How can I destroy the Brotherhood if there's a real kitty? It's a real kitty! But there's a kitty! So how did it look out there? 
We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. We've got a lot of work. Hi, Dan. Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? I'm a knight now. Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's okay. a brilliant tactician. It's like how old is he? Warrior and he didn't look that young to me. For the future of the Brotherhood. I'd okay. follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. How so? Before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. Fallout 3, when Max right there. Over, mm -hmm. He single handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. But you want charity. You're supposed to help to people. If you want them not to use technology, you're supposed to help people, not punch down. You punch up. He's dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I don't I know the answer to that. How much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly? That was your first not mistake. To you find a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Um. Okay. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. I would be too, because he let me in and that was strong, a mistake. We have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. Okay. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Um, I'll be careful. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Good. Because I'll we've be got a good. lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor yep. and take the fight to the Institute. Not really. But first things <laughs> first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Okay. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um... Now? Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. Probably. It's up to you. That's probably a good idea. I'll go it alone for now and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Can I send you elsewhere? <laughs> hey, Dance. Oh. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Gonna go away. You watch my back. There. Watch you. Try it now. Nothing. Oh. I was supposed to report Hi. Right Proctor this. Ingram. I can. So, Hi, Proctor. The new recruit the one I heard about. Take yep. Your way through a uh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. Um, game? Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Well, it was anyway, from 200 years ago before the bombs dropped. Meet me. We may as well get it over <laughs> with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. Your mechanic. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch. The Prid one's about to crash into the ground. Or if your power armor's too tight in the crotch. No, please come don't. see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! Ah, that's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see. I just fixed up a pretty decent T60 suit. I've already, got one, I've already got one of those. I've already got one of those. But it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in bay three. I'm Every gonna take it, but I don't need it. This tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Why are you stuck? Oh, you she didn't have legs. How you ended up that way? She doesn't That's have a legs. Personal, don't you think? Um. Most people in your condition would have given up. Can I hear your story? <sighs> sure. That is not what, what the subtitle said. You said. Fighting with the also, Charisma. The wasteland. <laughs> Worked at a staging area for the power armor troops. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. Ooh, that's uh, that's bad. That's quite a drop. That's uh, we that's had bad. No way of getting to us up there. It was a perfect liftoff point for the vertebrates. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke. Whoa! Most of the cliff right off. 
and caused the platform I was standing on to How are you not a ghoul? If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Ah, there you go. Your power armor helped you survive the fall? Yeah. It took the brunt of awesome. the impact. But I don't know if I'd call it surviving. How did you lose the, the suit legs? Was trashed after it landed. And I lost both of my legs. But how did you lose the legs? I mean, you could have broken anyway, them, but there wasn't anything in the suit that cut them armor. off. Feel free to use the workshops around here. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. I already have that, the BOS 2, because I got it on accident, but I'm going to... Enter. Let me in! I am part of the Brotherhood for at least a couple episodes. Brotherhood! If you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Brotherhood. Oh, I can't steal that debt. I wanted to steal it. Whoa, this thing's got a lot of power. Oh no, I've got a lot of power cores. Never mind. Don't think I can pick this. No, I don't think you can. But can I take everything? Is this something that can happen? Nom nom nom. Hi. Tegan! <laughs> what are you doing here, Tegan? Get back in Dragon Age! You're supposed to be over there! Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now, this is the stowage depot. And I, okay. as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster. Proctor Tegan. Oh, I, I was hoping he would say bad Tegan, just for the lulz. So I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. Okay. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Why am I buying anything? Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons. <laughs> Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps. And everyone contributes to the cause. And that's how they contribute. By having okay, a constant then. flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons. Shut up, phone. I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Tell me more. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Also, oh, I've got no, his no, power, no, no. power armor now. Nothing like you're thinking. Is it bad? It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. Define interacting. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo. Ooh, ammo. You just let me know. Okay. I've got some power armor. Can I steal everything? I kind of want to steal everything. Like, everything. <laughs> I mean, it's the Brotherhood of Steel. How can I not want to steal absolutely everything? <gasps> Wait a minute. That should hold. Thank you, sister. You know, oh, I thought they were green plants. Getting out. Turns out. How drag me not don't touch the experiments! What's this? Is that Nern Root? That looks like Nern Root from Skyrim. Oh that person's oh that's a sin. I was gonna say that person's dead. Feel free to have a look at the specimens. But please okay. don't touch anything. Didn't you want to hear about my experiment? There's rats. Oh uh, sorry, Naraya. But I can assure you, the institute will face its wrath. What's your experiment? Excuse me, Scribe Naraya. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. I regret nothing! Are all these creatures yours? Well, they're an important part of my research, if that's what you mean. And what's I'm your research? I'm discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad X. Really? What do you mean? Crack the code. The genetic code. The DNA sequences that are in every living thing. I you know see, about DNA. I've taken biology classes before. The Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, 
After several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. Okay. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Ooh, do Instead it to me. Of decades, do it to me. I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, Aww, anyway. Aw, no permanence? Why alter it for a short period of time? Why not do it permanently? Attempting to alter the genetic code permanently? That's too close to what happened with FEV and Spawn, the super mutant. Okay. I'm not willing to take a chance like that. I wish I could show so you a FEV. sample of the compound. But unfortunately, I've hit a yeah. stumbling block preventing me from synthesizing a sample. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. Okay. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. I can do well, that. Some of that new compound you're developing? If I make a breakthrough, you'll be the first person I give it to. Cool. After I've tested it on myself, of course. She's going to turn this off I've into a super mutant. I've modified your picture <laughs> to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. Okay. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Okay. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. No it's problem. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. Brotherhood and open mind, honey. I think that's an oxymoron. I don't know. Also, I think that's she loves uh, mostly that naked. Much. Mostly naked. Anything here I can steal? No. Or is a cam station? Hi. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. Just a little. You are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. Yeah, sure. See or hear anything suspicious. It is your duty to be a racist jerk face. Um, can I not? Do I need to get out of it to steal things? Oh no, it just won't let me steal them. Okay. I'll just steal things later. When I blow up the ship. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! I should go downstairs because there's people to talk to. I got people to talk to and things to kill. Where am I going? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, they're up there! <laughs> Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Ooh. We're out here representing the Brotherhood. You, uh, you going? Make them proud. Yeah. I'll come back for the rest of it in a bit. So I need to go up here. Whee! Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Wait, no, put the gun away. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. Hi. Man, you haven't lived until you've turned it around with a vertebrae. Now that's okay. So where Make sure you gear up. am I? Oh, over there, over there, over there. Uh, I'm getting stuck! With your reconnoiter of the Institute complete, you finally have first-hand knowledge about their facility. My reconnoiter of- I haven't reconnoitered anything for you guys! Shut up. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Excuse me, what? What are you doing with all these books? I so many books! I could can I steal them? For a moment to address your question. You're a jerk. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, okay. repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. You guys are just going to be like dictators over the Commonwealth, the aren't you? Uh, whatever suits you. Whatever suits you. Sure. Expanding the technological knowledge of the Brotherhood is what suits you. Fiction. Since I like it's fiction. that you aren't who I was expecting, okay. would you mind telling me why you're here? Um, meeting the crew? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance. And I'm a knight already. <laughs> Under <normal> circumstances. <laughs> These guys I have a horrible judge of character. The orientation of my department. Okay. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documents. There's a beetle on my monitor. I'm lacking the personnel needed. To get the job it's done. not even a joke. There is a beetle on my monitor, and he just crawled over that guy's face. Go away. 
<laughs> there we go. It's gone now. I just flicked it. Get out of- Is this going to take much longer? Yes! I'm getting rid of a beetle! Okay, there we go. <laughs> I mean, what? Um... I get up. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. Is the beetle As gone? You patrol the Commonwealth. Keep your eyes open for blueprints, cool. memo. The beetle's gone. <laughs> charts. Anything containing useful technical data. <clears throat> I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. What? And if you wish Don't to look at me in that tone of voice. It was a beetle. I have plenty it was of waiting to be found. I was a bug at least. It, like a beetle. Event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Um, it can go live off in the corner of my room somewhere. Kitty! Oh, I'll take the kitty. I want a pet! Besides my puppy kids. By, so Hi! Are you ready for your medical exam? What? My, kind of my what? Exam. I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. Oh no! It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't this bring anything up here bad that idea. pose a threat to the crew. Okay. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? No, I was not. Wouldn't vault Tech screening process have caught this already? vault Tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. Hi, I'm 200 years old. Vault dweller? Yes. You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Yes, I have. But I have never been in, like, contact, like, blood-on-blood -blood contact. Um, full disclosure, my father had, uh, hepatitis C. I don't. I've been tested, vaccinated, everything else, but... I give my... Uh, when I would give my dad a well, hug. Soldier? I, I'm talking! Hello? Um... Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? I'm just well, answering questions of questions. Yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. Well, that's not we good. Tell them to stop that. We don't want infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you. So, have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Um, I've not really ever been sick. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good. Good. Yeah, not Third really. Question. That's the truth! Please I really haven't! Answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Actually, no, because I have not romanced anybody. I have not romanced Hancock. I have not romanced anybody yet in this game. Never. No, never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any have problems this, pulling this the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood? Whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Um... That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. That is important. Anyone he is correct here. firing in combat due to misguided moral standards. Misguided? Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? Um, if they were shooting at me. If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Oh, cool. Excellent. I so not everybody's completely racist in the Brotherhood. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. Woo! If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Will do! Until I eventually murder your face. I mean, what? What? No, no, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna... Take everything. Why do they have buff out? Tour of duty. What am I doing now? Um, meet with Elder Maxon. Okay then. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. He show no mercy. He's gonna tell us to kill the institute, isn't he? Which I take issue with because I don't know if they know it yet. But uh, that's my son, who is older than me. 
It's like my less than a year old baby is suddenly 60. Itchy nose. Where am I going? Oh, there he is. What'd you find, boy? What'd you find? Oh, you found over there. Hi. Elder Maxon. Now that you've familiarized yourself... I've got some armor. Are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yeah, sure. What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to... What off. training? Let's get right to it. <laughs> Shall it's we? that I was Take trained. Over there. That's Fort Strong. Okay. And it's infested with super mutants. Okay. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. Ooh. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. I can do that. Understood? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sense. Hey, They're a that's reminder racist. of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. That's Whether racist. it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes. Okay. We're trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. Okay. It's the wrong path for science. Okay. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? I'll do it! Well, let's ask about the shells. shells do? The Fat Man Launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a nuclear it's a weapon. It's nuclear payload. Nuclear. In a man portable form. A nuclear. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you okay. ever have the pleasure of firing one, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't get near Don't it. fire one of them in close quarters. Yes. <laughs> there won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Mushroom cloud. Go on it. Consider it done. Consider it done. Look. I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute. Yeah, but sure I am. To wait. <laughs> the Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed, and ready to depart. Okay. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. What if I don't want to? <laughs> I'm going to, but... Okay. Can I just leave? <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. They'll be fine. Whee! Wait, what? That worked? <laughs> I don't even. That actually worked. Okay, then. Let's go put my power armor away. Because I really don't need it right now. But that's also going to be the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Fallout 4. I'll see you all in the next video.